Hello Empower fans, how are we doing today? Today I'm going to show you a little deeper into GIMP uh, so you can send out some really nice looking messages. Uh, you could actually do um, all kinds of stuff with this. You know, I used to do a lot of my you know Facebook headers and and uh, you know YouTube headers and all kinds of stuff with this all you need is really is the size and you can do just about anything you want uh, so guys here we're going to you know basically border the letters and I'm going to show you how to shadow them a little bit uh, give them a little depth so this is what it's gonna look like I went ahead and did a practice round because I haven't done this in a while. Uh, I used to do it all the time, but you know, if you don't use it, you kind of lose it a little bit. So I went in, did a practice round, and we're all set. Now the first thing you want to do is come over here and pick whatever colors you you want this to be. It's a lot easier, and um, you know that way you're all set up. So um, I went ahead and picked red and actually the letters were white and then i had the black background that's why the black is there i can change that later i'm just going to leave it the way it is we're going to do the exact same thing here and we're going to come up here we're going to hit file new uh, i already had this preset from this one i'm going to go with 500 to 400 and hit ok see the red background comes up and then I'm going to go into here. I am going to change this to white. All right. I'm going to leave everything the same. Uh, you can pick whatever font you want and whatever size you want. I actually, when I did the first one, I started out with 18 and just made it work. But I know this is going to work, so I'm just going to leave it. Let's see, just so I get the same thing because I can't even remember what I wrote. All right, there we go. So we're going to start with hello. Whoop. Hello, Empower. Boy, I can't type today. My fingers are fat. And I catch the letters. Oh, oh my God. Oh my. Okay, this is ridiculous. All right, guys, there we go. That's what it looks like. And um, now to put the border around um, around this, let's make sure we want it. We got it where we want it. I think I I do have it where I want it. See, I'm going to bring the letters down a little bit. Uh, I actually moved this the first time, and I got it a little bit too low, I think. I think it's perfect the way it is, and then when we put the, the shadow in there, and I go and move this down a little bit, it will be perfect. So I'm just going to leave that. Now, to put the border around, we want to come over here and hit uh, Layer, Transport, I'm sorry, transparent. And we want to hit alpha to selection. All right, it's going to do this right here. We're going to come over to select, grow. And I picked three the last time. I'm going to take it up one more and pick four. That's the thickness of this line right here, basically. All right. Now, if you are doing something very small, um, you see this 100% thing here? 
you can actually, you know, go up. Because sometimes these things, when you try to get the in-betweens here, are very hard to get. So if that's the case, just take your um, pixel size up and you'll be it'll be a lot easier for you so the next thing we want to do is pick we're done with this pick our border color now I picked black because I think it looks pretty good on red so this right here is what they call a bucket fill thing um, so you can pick that come over here see the little bucket right there and just touch the edge and click and that's going to change all of your text for you now unfortunately it doesn't do the inside I wish it did and you kind of have to come around and if you, if you hit the wrong thing I'm gonna do it accidentally okay so if you hit the wrong thing the whole thing turns black you just come up here and hit undo it happens my letters are big enough that, you know, unless I screw up royally. But if you're doing something smaller, it will happen, okay? And that's all you have to do. Hit undo. So there we go. We got our border. What do you think about that? So what you want to do now is come up here and hit none. That takes it off. That takes the alpha thing off. And there you go. Next step is hit uh, filter, light shadow, and drop shadow. I have mine set to 5, 5, and 15, which is perfect because it worked out pretty good the last time I'm gonna hit OK see you can see the shadow now a little bit right but it's it's not what I want I, I want it to kind of look like this the, the light is coming from the bottom up all right so here's what we're gonna do up oh. undo Okay, we have to move it. Hit the move tool. And there you go. That's it. That's all we're going to do. But, listen guys, I want to show you a little bit. Um, so, if... There's all kinds of things you can do with this. You can actually take it to the side. You can actually do it from the bottom where it comes up it, it's all up to you you know there's a few things that you can do there but I want it to look like the lights coming from the bottom up and doesn't that give it some depth so that's all you have to do guys come up here hit file I just, you know, you can save it if you want to, if you want to change it later. But uh, these things are kind of uh, a little bit difficult to change once you have these kind of layers in there. But if you wanted to, if you spelled something wrong, you basically really have to start over. But um, I just export it. And I'm going to write it down as, uh, let's see, hello. Hopefully that'll work. And hit export hello already exists okay cancel I'll put one and see if that'll go okay and there you go guys see this one is a little bit different than this one because we want that extra um uh, uh, we had an extra little uh tweak to it and we actually made it a little different there but i think you get the picture if you follow the steps you will uh, have the same effect guys i really appreciate you watching my videos uh you can subscribe to my channel if you want 
I try to do you helpful videos so you can, you know, use this stuff on a power. You can actually yeah. do this uh, on a light colored picture. Um, probably will work good. And, um, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can do with this program. If you have it already, you can really, you know, excel at it. There's um, actually, uh, there's a girl on YouTube that's got a ton of, of videos on GIMP and uh, she's a pretty good teacher she actually started me off and because uh, there is a lot of stuff on here if you you know really get into this so there you go something simple to make your you know messages look better all right so go ahead like this video for me share it comment uh, I really appreciate you guys, and uh, see you on the next video. My name is Glenn Byers.